Hey guys, welcome back to Turok Evolution. In the last part, we just got through that freaking evil place with the, you know, the annoying death on demand. And in this part, we are moving into a bunch of buildings. Well, let me just get a good gun here. Uh, here we go, minigun. Yay, lots of ammo. Now, if you see any differences in my ammo level, it's just because, you know, as I said before, when you select a chapter that you haven't, like, when you load a chapter instead of loading a save point, um, it um, removes the ability to autosave. So, I had to play the first few levels of this chapter again to get here. So, yeah, that's why there's differences. Anyway, there's some guys over there that we want to take out. So, let us get our trusty bow, which has, crap, like, no ammo left. Uh, hey, we got plenty of explosive arrows, so let's use those. Um, let's see here. Alright, one. You know, we get up here first. One better angle. Here we go. Okay, one. Two. Oh, what, what, what? I, I totally hit him. You saw that. You saw that. That was a glitch. Alright. Wow, there's two big guys. Alright, yeah. Oh, sure, I can s shoot through, like, teeny tiny little gaps in the wood, but I can't shoot someone dead in the chest? Yeah, go figure. Oh, great. I don't like this part at all. Uh, here, let's use the plasma cannon just to get some of these weaker guys. Ah, no, no, I'm wasting ammo. But that is okay, because uh, come right up. Ah, ah. Run, 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 crap. Oh, gosh. Ah, no, ah. Uh, thank you, mysterious explosion that saved my face. Okay, go ahead and shoot those manholes and come down in here. Now, down here, look at this. So much plasma. Yay, plasma battery, plasma battery, plasma battery, and <laughs> plasma battery. Try saying plasma battery three times really fast. Try it. And we get a ton of minigun rounds, too. And, of course, health. I'll shoot this with a poison arrow since I don't really use those uh, much. What the... What's the arrow doing down here, huh? That's kind of a weird glitch, but whatever. Um, I do not believe that that is where you get the chain lens, so I'm not going to be showing it just yet still. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, kill this. Uh, how about aiming at the guy that's two feet in front of you? Hmm? Okay. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he come from? Jeez. Ah, run away. Oh, crap. That's the chain lens. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, right after I say I'm not going to use it, I use it. Anyway, um... Now what's gonna happen here is these guys are going oh crap I'm surrounded now that's not good um ah die there are going to be dropped um transporters here now hold on I need to get my freaking rockets out just kill the teleporters first things first kill them ah no 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 don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me ah oh gosh that was close anyway uh let's see man I can never tell if they're coming or not hold on let me see Oh, I can't climb up it backwards. Come on, Tarok. You can cock a shotgun while you're climbing the ladder, but you can't climb it. Oh, crap. Run. <laughs> Jeez, this is not a good situation. I can't even barely get out of here. Haha. Uh... -ha. Loser. Yeah, there's his gun and all his blood. Anyway, um, more minigun rounds. Thank you. More health, please. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out over here. Rocket's blasting. Okay, come on, load it up, load it up, thank you. Alright, now no one's over here, and no one will suspect me. Except there are people over here, and they did suspect me. Ah! Run! Oh, gosh. Ah, I can't, I have to be careful just by, just climbing down, because I can't afford to hit the ground hard. Right okay, now, uh, do I really want to use a rocket for this? Yes, I do. Suck rocket. Boom. I don't care if I lost five hits. Oh, I can see his blood and body falling down. Isn't it just wonderful? Okay, let's see. Whoa! Uh, hello? Uh, dinosaur? You want to turn around? Uh, uh, why did I do that? Why did I not just capitalize on that and just start shooting him? I love it how... Look at that! Oh, gosh. Um, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, kill it. Uh, another one. Ah! Jeez, I'm glad I saw that so quickly. Uh, minigun rounds. Probably wasted those, but that's okay. Ah! Die. I love it how you can just dodge them just by standing still. That's kind of, you know, not a very good weapon system you got there. Anyway, um, after it drops us three teleporters, and hopefully you survived through that crap. 
die already. Hopefully you survive through all that and you, you know, actually have bullets left. And then, um, I'm just waiting for this last wave of stuff that's gonna come. Uh, here, let's get some minigun rounds. Uh, where do we go? Do we already move on to the next area? I kind of forgot how this one works. Okay, I guess we do. Awesome. Yay, I lived! Okay, uh, die, and die, and die. Boom. Oh, now this is my favorite part in the game, but I can only show you that. I can only show you why if I had codes on, and I don't. So I can't. I'm sorry. It's just awesome and hilarious. Minigun! Yay! The minigun in this game is freaking amazing for one reason and one reason only. You know how in most other games, or like shooters, where you have a minigun and you can't fire it much because you know it like overheats? That's the only reason why this minigun is amazing. It's because it does not overheat. And of course that's a very good reason to love the minigun. Because it doesn't overheat and you can just fire it forever. Of course you can hide in these little spawn buildings, but that's not really worth doing. Okay, now I know you see me looking up a lot. Oh, hey, fletches. I didn't even notice that. I thought those were minigun rounds, but I guess they were fletches. Okay, just keep, just stick with the minigun for now, because you probably have tons of ammo for it. Ah, here we go. Okay, now, once you kill waves and waves of those enemies, those guys are going to start falling from balloons, and then just pick off their balloons, and then they will fall to their death and blow up at your feet. So check it out. Eh, owned in the face, or the legs. Owned in the body, more like it. And boom. It sucks to be them. Anyway, once you kill all those guys, the next area will open up. Ah. And then, um, that big ship will crash in here. Alright, get some explosive arrows. And then just make sure... I don't, do I still have guys? No, I've got one left. Jeez, what happened? Uh, here we go. More fletchets. Ah, uh, more fletchets and more minigun. They really stock you up. Oh, I blew his hell and head off. Dang it. Well, wait, I blew his own head off? That doesn't make any sense, because how many times are you going to blow off someone's head while it's not theirs? That doesn't... Well, except in, like, in Resident Evil 4 when those, like, parasites take over your... Oh, crap! Forgot. I didn't know that they dropped so early. Ah! Uh, well, one thing you don't... One thing that you could do with that, if you don't get them quick enough, and they're already here by the time you start shooting, you can, um... They have to get off of their balloon before they can start shooting. So, um... If they get too close, just start shooting them, and they probably won't have enough time to even fire around. They have to land totally and completely. See, like that. See, he couldn't even get a shot off. Pop. Ha ha! Alright, uh, is it this way now? Yes, it is this way. Um, now this is the end of the segment, so in the next part, we will continue through the city and also move on to one of my favorite parts. So I'll see you then.